Me, I don't understand this friend that said that it's today that I'm filming that it's going to rain. I don't understand you. What sunscreen? Who sent this rain? Vitamin C is not sunscreen. It has raining, but please, Mr. Rain, let me know have your sound in my video because last year I got this mic and I meant to be using it for my videos but this thing is not working anymore and the annoying thing is I got this for 8,000 Naira that's why I've been talking so soft in my videos I don't understand look at a whole ugh. I don't even want to stress about it. I'm going to get a new one, Jerry. But I don't know if there's anything that can be done. I don't know why it's not working. Hmm? I don't know why. I, I don't even know if I'm using it right or not. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Somi. If you're new here, thank you. Thank you for clicking on my um, channel kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell down below so as to stay tuned if you're an OG thank you so much I really appreciate that you also have to always come back to my videos thank you very much so in this video I'll be doing my nighttime skincare routine very simple nighttime skincare routine while i go ahead to talk about antioxidants and the first antioxidants we'll be looking at is drum roll please vitamin c vitamin c is really a beautiful one so without further ado let's get right into this video i'm going to be toning my skin with this antioxidant from isin tree is the green tea refreshing toner so um we would love to know what antioxidants are firstly before even talking about what vitamin c is so um antioxidants are ingredients in skincare that help protect the skin from what we call damages caused from free radicals okay um if you're a science student if you studied chemistry if you studied biochemistry, if you sure did anything that has to do with chemistry, you will understand what free radicals are. Okay? So, but there, don't worry. That's why I'm here. I'm going to tell you what free radicals are. So, we, free radicals are unstable um, molecules that can be generated by various factors. Example, UV rays, yes, pollution, and internal processes in the body. Okay? These free radicals can cause oxidative stress. And these free radicals can lead to premature aging, inflammation, and other skin concerns, right? I actually really do like using this without um, without a cotton wool because it helps me dab it in and get my skin plump okay so now antioxidants on the other hand they work by neutralizing these free radicals and thereby reducing their harmful effect on the skin and they do this by donating an electron this is we're now going deep now like deep 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 donating an electron to the free radical stabilizing them and preventing them from damaging cells all right yeah um it not only prevents them from damaging cells it prevents them from damaging collagen too this antioxidants protect cells against harmful environmental stressors and promote overall skin health okay now we're going to talk about the diva the beyonce of its time vitamin c it's a powerful antioxidant that help protect the skin from these free radicals that we just talked about. Like, just like I said, the mechanism of action binds itself, donates an electron, binds it to the free radicals, neutralizing the free radicals, and help to prevent the appearance of 
fine lines, wrinkles, dark spots, and giving a more youthful complexion. Now, these are properties of vitamin C. Okay, yeah. Let me say that again. Vitamin C helps prevent fine lines, wrinkles, dark spots, and also gives you a youthful complexion because by the time you don't have all of this, what, what's the next thing? You're gonna have a very youthful complexion. Another thing you need to know about vitamin C is that vitamin C helps brighten the skin by feeding hyperpigmentation. Yes. So it evens out hyperpigmentation, it tones the skin, it inhibits the production of melanin, resulting in a more radiant and uniform complexion. Vitamin C helps boost collagen production. It does this by simulating collagen synthesis, helping to maintain the skin firmness, elasticity, reducing sign of aging, that is fine lines, wrinkles. It helps in wound healing and it improves the overall health of the skin and also the texture of the skin. Now one thing you should take out from what I just said is that it helps stimulating collagen synthesis. Let me tell you something. Any cream, eh? Any cream that you buy or any serum that you buy and they say it contains collagen that you apply it on your face. Hear it now from a biochemist. Eh? Collagen cannot penetrate. In fact, your skin does not absorb collagen from outside. It cannot penetrate the skin. So you are wasting your money. All those things you are seeing there, collagen, clinical, clinical, this, collagen contains collagen, that contains co all those um, marketing terms you know now waiting that they use market their business that's how they collect our money all right but now this is what vitamin c says vitamin c does vitamin c does not produce collagen but when it gets into the skin and gets absorbed it stimulates you your body already produces the protein called collagen your body your muscles your your body produces collagen you have collagen in you okay it helps with the youthful appearance that you have now what does vitamin c do when vitamin c comes in contact it stimulates that collagen and the collagen kind of work more or produces more of itself and prevents you from having the like the likes of fine lines wrinkles looking age dry skin and all that it will give you a plumpier skin like the skin of a kid right and it also helps with the elasticity of your skin because when the texture of your skin is nice it also helps with elasticity the protein that is involved with uh, making sure that the elasticity of our skin is on point is called elastin one beautiful thing that i love about vitamin c is that vitamin c prevents against sun damage ah. before i go in deeper into this i would love to say that vitamin c would not replace your sunscreen vitamin c is not sunscreen who send this rain vitamin c is not sunscreen it has nothing to do with sunscreen vitamin c is different sunscreen is different however vitamin c helps protect against against sun damage now vitamin c adds or provides an additional layer of protection against harmful UV rays coupled with your sunscreen additional protection against harmful UV rays so vitamin C is not sunscreen however it can help you know protect more protect your skin more from these harmful UV rays now one thing about vitamin C is that when you are using your vitamin C in the morning and you're using sunscreen, vitamin C helps your sunscreen to be very effective. Why? Because when you're using vitamin C, vitamin C helps protect you from sun damage. And you are now also using sunscreen, SPF, whatever it is you're using, UVA, UVB, whatever. We all know how all those things have been discussed. Vitamin C helps to, it, in fact, they are a wonderful combo. Both of them, the combo is beautiful. Using your vitamin C in the morning and using your sunscreen is a beautiful combo. So if you are looking at buying vitamin C, try as much as possible to buy a vitamin C that is stable. And I will go ahead to, in, to give you tips on how you can incorporate vitamin C in your routine if you have one already but you do not know how to incorporate it in your routine. Okay, 
I'm gonna go in with my snail mousine to hydrate my skin. This thing I'll go back up our should not finish shoes. It's key. So when you want to choose a vitamin C, please kindly choose a stable form of vitamin C. An example of stable form of vitamin C, look for a, a product that contains the likes of L ascorbic acid. Am I right? Yes. L ascorbic acid. Choose the type that contains amino propyl ascorbic phosphate. We also have ethyl ascorbic acid also. All these are forms of vitamin C that are stable because vitamin C on its own is not stable. Do you understand? Vitamin C on its own is um, is an unstable skincare ingredient, right? So you want to choose the one that is stable and not only the one that is stable, stable and effective. What I mean by vitamin C is not stable is that vitamin C is most likely going to oxidize. Let me give you another example of something that oxidizes easily. Kojic acid oxidizes easily. Now, this amino propyl ascorbic phosphate is a vitamin C that has been you abided like I don't know how to say it, but I don't want to sound so scientific, like sounding like a professor, but it has been binded with an amino compound. Do you understand? So that amino compound is helping stabilize the vitamin C. There is also the L-ascorbic acid. Then we also have ethyl ascorbic acid. It has been binded with or been made to work with um, an ethyl compound binding together. And that's how they got the ethyl ascorbic acid. And it tends to be, and it tends to be more stable than the ordinary ascorbic acid okay i'm sorry if i'm speaking softly and you do not like it okay okay now another thing is that if you're looking at picking up a vitamin c if you find a stable vitamin c that is paired with a ferulic acid buy it buy it i'm telling you just don't even think twice if it's 20k that they call for you don't price it just pick it up and go home <laughs> you know why don't mind me i was just kidding why uh ferulic acid is oh is nice is I'm, I'm gonna go treat my pigment my hyperpigmentation with this i'm trying to finish this thing because it will expire in september and i don't like wasting products because these things are expensive as you're seeing how small they are Ferulic acid on its own is also an antioxidant. Ferulic acid on its own is also an antioxidant and it helps with the effectiveness of vitamin C. So it's just like you bringing in two powerful humans together at a place and telling them to work on a particular project. You're going to expect nothing less than an awesome project sweet results coming out of it that is what ferulic acid combined with vitamin c does especially a vitamin c that is stable right the second point on how to incorporate vitamin c in your routine is that you should try incorporating it in your morning routine just like i said because it aids it helps sunscreen vitamin c and your sunscreen are best friend your sunscreen is going to give you maximum protection when you pair it with vitamin c i don't mean mix it oh please oh, don't mix it in your routine whether it's a vitamin c serum vitamin c toner vitamin c face cream just apply it on your face allow it to like sink in or probably like you know absorb a little bit then when you're done with the whole of your routine just go over it with it with your sunscreen remember when you apply your sunscreen use the three finger rule make sure you get the back of your ear your ear your neck and all that all right reason why you're going to do this is because it provides antioxidant protection for uh, protection all through the day all through the day remember you still have to reapply your sunscreen don't say that somebody said don't reapply your sunscreen please it's not me if it's your first time using vitamin c 
try to start with lower concentrations okay lower concentrations first before moving higher then before you use it try as much as possible to patch test you using it uh at lower concentration minimizes the rate at which it is going to irritate your skin right so when you're using gradually it's not going to irritate your skin so much so much and try to patch test you can patch test at the back of your ear you can patch test here all these places are sensitive substances so um parts of the body so if you patch test here and patch test here that's at the back of your skin at the back of your ear and it doesn't irritate you and all that then you know that you're good to go because obviously these places are sensitive okay um, i'm gonna go in with this moisturizer for this routine i'm keeping it very simple you should try as much as possible to store your vitamin c in an airtight container and keep it in in a dark place try as much as possible to store in a cool dark place so that it wouldn't oxidize okay make sure make sure that whenever you open it you open your vitamin c you try as much as possible to close it back like tighten the container when you are working on it all right keep it away from heat all these things are tiny tiny tips with this moisturizer from Eason tree and low soothing emotion helps calm flushed skin okay now the last but definitely not the least when it comes to vitamin c or using vitamin c please try as much as possible to stay consistent why did i forget applying this in, uh, inhibitor thyroidness in the inhibitor of my neck why Try as much as possible to be consistent with your routine. Trust me, jumping from one routine to the other, jumping from one product to the other doesn't give you value. So product take as, takes as long as six weeks, eight weeks before you start seeing effects. Now, if you are using it for just two days and you are, and you are ditching it and you're like, it's not working, then you're literally wasting your money, right? You're wasting your money and you do not want to waste your money okay so no matter what try to be consistent tips to go home with when you want to incorporate vitamin c in your routine buy vitamin c buy ones that contain um stable forms of vitamin c and that can be easily absorbed by the skin if possible buy ones that contain stable forms of vitamin c and ferulic acid even vitamin e these are powerful antioxidants that can be added to vitamin c and even make it more powerful and more potent and you know giving you 100 percent of what you want from it right two the second point is depending on the type of uh substance it is if it's a liquid substance if it's a serum if it's a cream if it is uh, a toner you should try to incorporate your vitamin c's in the morning when you're done apply your sunscreen please don't apply vitamin c and don't wear sunscreen it's not me that said that only apply your vitamin c and make sure you apply your sunscreen don't forget to reapply your sunscreen especially when you know that you're going to be exposed even if it's raining like right now in lagos it's raining like no man's business even if it's raining please wear your sunscreen what the uh the the sunscreen is protecting you from is not the sun it's the rays of the sun so so far you can actually see broad daylight you can see daylight it means that the rays of the sun are here not the sun the sun might not be up but the rays are giving you light right so try to protect that skin it's very important okay this brings us to the end of this video and if you love this video kindly give me a thumbs up um subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my youtube channel baby girl is trying to be consistent with what she's doing here to so turn on the notification bell down below so that whenever i post a video you will get notified so do take care of yourself and i hope to see you in my next video bye Mwah.